this episode of Twang Nation. We chat with featured artist McAllister Kemp. Check out some new blood with Christy Lamb. We go behind the scenes on the set of Jetty Road's music video and an exclusive live acoustic performance from Catherine Britt. his smile He's tall and hot and handsome sweet and shy It's such a rush It's such a shame Cause I tremble every time he says my name My musical journey started when I was about 11. Before then I'd really focused on dancing but I had a dance injury and tore the cartilage in my knee and that's when I really shifted to music. Before then I'd always loved all performing arts, whether it's dancing, acting or singing, but that's when I really found my love of music when I really got involved in it and started up different instruments such as the guitar and the piano as well. My main inspiration is Carrie Underwood. I think she's just an excellent performer. She's beautiful on and off stage. She puts on a great concert. She writes her own material and she's just got an amazing voice and her style is really the sort of country music that I really enjoy. I wish was more than one fish in the sea Cause he's my best friend's boyfriend So sad, I want him so bad Even though I know it's wrong But I can't help it It would be so easy to pretend He's not my best friend's boyfriend Songwriting has changed for me over the years. When I was younger, I started songwriting when I was 14, and a lot of the stories I was writing were all made up, but now as I'm getting older, I find it a lot easier to draw on my own life experiences, and if I'm to write a song, I just go into my own room, find my own space, have some peace and quiet so I can really focus on what I want to write. I also like co-writing as well. That's always good because you can bounce off someone else with different ideas, but most of the time I have wrote by myself. Right now, so come on boy, let's hit the town. I know the only problem is he's my best friend's boyfriend. So sad, I want him so bad, even though I know it's wrong. Outside of um, performing, I'm currently a full-time uni student. I'm studying a Bachelor of Music. I'm currently in my second year, and if I'm not at uni doing assignments. I'm focusing on really writing a lot of songs ready for an EP and just polishing up my craft and performing and gigging wherever I can because ultimately that's really what I want to do. I want to have an EP and start touring and gigging with it, promoting it. We met, got together uh, while we were touring in a Johnny Cash show. Yeah, we were in a motel room in a little town called Morwell. Um, we're writing our first song, which was a song called Where Heaven Ends and You Begin. And Michael Carr was another guy on the Johnny Cash show and he came in and uh, suggested that we, he said, you guys sound really good together, what's that song? And we said, we're just writing. And he said, well, why don't you guys sort of do like a, a Brooks and Dunn sort of duo thing? And we said, no way. No way. We don't need to do that. Got our own thing going on. Yeah, so we, we were sort of set on our solo mission, but um, he kept bugging both of us about doing it for, for weeks after and Drew finally rang me and said, do you want to give this duo thing a go? And uh, Now it's not the way I remember it. He called me. <laughs> yeah, I called him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to get together and start to write some songs. And, uh, you know, the next thing we had 10 songs and we suddenly we had a gig with Adam Brand. Yeah, we've we got a lot to thank Brandy for and uh, he's done wonders Brandy for rocks. Mm. Yeah. The writing process started out with, with Troy and I. Um, we'd go to, uh, I'd go to Newcastle one week and then um, he'd come to Sydney and we'd just do week on, week off and we'd, we'd write songs and that's pretty much how we did it for at least six months and we'd, we'd, uh, we'd basically come up with ideas or I'd send him a text, say what do you think about this and say we'll work on that next week or whatever. So we just um, did a lot of miles and wrote a lot of songs. 
when it came to picking the songs for the album, we sat down with about maybe 30 songs mm. and had to pick um, our favourite 12. Um, and Adam guided us and sort of said, look boys, you really need to find songs that connect with your, with your audience. And maybe up until about a month out from have, doing the album, we didn't really have those songs and we had to go back to the drawing board and, and write a few more. And some of the best songs on the album, we think probably came within the last couple of weeks before we recorded it. You know, songs like All Kinds Are Tough and- Hell Yeah. Hell Yeah was the last song. And what else did there was- um, Sure of That was another one, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, it was a good process picking the songs and we were lucky that ABC Records said, hey, yep, we like all the songs you guys have picked, so let's get together with Matt Fell and get this job done. And we did and it worked out, so it was good. Hi, I'm Kirsty Akers. We're, we're McAllister Kent. Kent. Hi, I'm Victoria Bailey and you're watching Twang Nation. Twang Nation. Twang Nation. Twang Nation.